happen. When you when you step into the arena to be a developer, a real estate developer, right? It's gonna be a time in that process when you going through, you get your approvals, you working with the bank to get your funding, you know, to, to take on the debt, and you looking for people, you know, equity partners that you don't have the equity, but you're gonna have to endure and sacrifice. And that's where ninety percent of people are gonna get knocked out of the box. Because you wanna endure situations where your lights go out, your phone get cut off, your internet gets cut off, and you got to hustle and scramble. The day-to-day money may not be there, but you know the long-term goal. And most people will not be able to endure that pain, and they will be looking for, you know, instant gratification, momentary, you know, benefits, right. and they gonna cheat themselves. They gonna cheat, and they gonna cheat a lot of people because if you're doing development, you're not doing it just for yourself. You know, you're putting up whole community, plan development. You know what I'm saying? Mix, mix use development. Like you, you make an impact in a community, and you know everybody's not gonna be able to to, to handle that, bro. And it, it, it's just we already in these conditions now. Right. Like we're already there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's nothing new for us, but for somebody to paint a picture and say, this is where you can go. If you, you know what I'm saying, follow me, learn this, I'll show you how to do this, just be a good student. And you paint that picture, it's just like with kids, dog. If you show them the end of mind, a kid will endure anything. Right. And we got to do the same thing. Right. Like we must. It's not even an option. Because the rich are going to keep getting richer. Like it's they're not going to stop. And it's not a bad thing. They just have information we don't have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not in love with money, but I'm in love with what it can do for us. Right. It's a tool. It's just a resource. You know what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate that, you know, most people uh, in my faith, the, the Christians, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that they teach you, they, not they, like the pastors, but it's, it's, it's a context or a connotation that, Money is evil. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have money, you're a bad person. And that's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine what you can do if money is not an issue. If you're not concerned about your bills, how many people can you bless today? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is no wrong side of the bed. You won't wake up and you won't <laughs> figure out how you can help somebody else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, we complaining over, we don't have any new clothes. You know, we have to go, you know, with limited food that we may not want to eat. You know, we don't have enough gas to put in our car. Our bills are late. Man, it's people who haven't ate, eaten for days. It's people who don't have clothes at all. No running water. You know what I'm saying? Well, well my wife from in Jamaica, when we went down to visit some of her family at Waterhouse, they live in the little, in the little zinc shack, the little shanty. What? 12 people? to less than a six by six space? Are you, what? Come on, man. Like, it's nothing. Like, suffering is what we do. And now we need to learn how to turn the tables. Easy. Like, that's it. Like, it, it ain't no more after that. We must learn how to turn the tables. And if we choose to be ignorant and neglected and just think everything is going to be okay and you know, we worried about what Carmelo Anthony doing, LeBron James. They good brothers, and they got their hood on street. So why we don't take that example? Right. Why we don't take that example in Le- LeBron James' business? We so concerned he left from Cleveland and went to Miami, but we didn't beat. You know what I'm saying? Like the business move and how he took power in his own hands. We so invested in sports teams and buying jerseys and all that, but what about your dream? Savage Minds, Savage Minds Television. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a dream, it's reality. We walking this out, this is real. You know what I'm saying? Malcolm said it'd be a nightmare that we walking through that thing. You know what I'm saying? Look at all the great men that that got murdered out here. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody rising up. Everybody is out for themselves, which is stupid. That is a game that is being played. Look at what we glorify. Trap. I ain't no preacher, bro. I've been out there hustling. My family hustled. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And you must do what you got to do. But have you ever thought of the meaning of the word trap? Let's be real. 
Come on. Wake up, dog. Wake up. Wake up, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you dealing with Savage Minds, Soup Tone, C Chef, Tay Philly, everybody affiliated, affiliated with us, it's real. No effort. Live free. Like, look at the words. Live free. Savage. Uncontrollable. Mind. Uncontrollable thinking. We are not in your box. We are not in the matrix, dog. We are out of there. You can't put us back in. It's a wrap for y'all, dog, because we getting hip, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. But see, what we gonna do that's really gonna burn the bridge for y'all is we gonna teach this to the youth. Oh and they gonna teach it to their kids, you know? And I may not see it, bro. Like Martin Luther King said, I seen the promised land. I know what God put on my mind. You can't take it from me. But sorry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he said, I've seen the mountaintop. And I might not make it there with you. And I might not make it there with you. But I promise you, it's going to be a change. And we're going to affect it hmm. real. Yeah. Hmm. And, and can nobody stop us, right? See, because uh, the utmost high. Yeah, the most high. If he is forced to against us, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. It's a wrap. I don't care what book you read it in. The Quran, whatever. The Bible, it don't matter. It's a wrap. It's all there. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not arrogant. We're not egotistical. We humble. We people of God. You know what I'm saying? We here to ambassador his will. You know what I'm saying? To bring manifest glory. What do y'all, what? You, you can't stop that. It's a wrap, because even if he don't use me, he gonna use somebody else. Hmm. If he don't use them, he gonna use somebody else. So you can't fight God. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what can you do with that? Nothing. Have a coconut smile. And look out. <laughs> Get hip. <laughs>